what's the deal? Big Pops, Cake Pop, Talk Boxing. So, I watched the Time Boxing video the other day. I think it was like two days ago. Um, I've been busy with the podcast. My bad, y'all. This road is, uh, you know, you live in a country. These roads is like rickety. But, uh, I had to, you know, the time, you know, because I've been on the podcast and then I've been working. You know, I've been having to work like 12 hour shifts and stuff. So, I be busy, man. Going to the gym, five in the morning, then go to work, get off, do the podcast. I be busy. I be, you know what I'm saying? But my focus is the podcast. But, you know, today I got a little time, you know what I'm saying? So, I decided to, you know, just drop some gems on the Bounce House channel, you know what I mean? But, um, so d -Town Boxing made a video basically talking about what Frank Warren leave Man Down Promotions, which is ran by L. Spence and Derek James and uh, I think it's uh, L. Spence Homeboy, I forgot his name. So he broke it down so eloquently. I'm gonna post a link in the description to this video. Um, but from, and I'm just gonna paraphrase. I'm not gonna go verbatim, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to take full, I want to take no credit. Detail Boxer did all the legwork to get all this information, right? So, um, and shout out to Detail. Detail, it's time, it's all up. Uh, so, apparently, there might be some, might, I don't know how true this is, some friction in the man down camp. You know, uh, Frank Martin wants more time with Derek James. You know, he wants to work with Derek James more, but Derek James don't have the time. You know, he's, you know, working with this fighter, you know, working with that fighter, you know. And um, it's, it's caused an issue in, in, in the camp because, you know, uh, Frank just want to be able to work with his coach. So it's, it's been rumored that Frank might go back to his old coach, which is like his dad and this other guy who's a police officer, right? And I think that's how Derek, I mean, uh, my bad, D-Town Boxing explained it. Also, with the Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson fight, right, um, they said Frank Martin had an issue with the offer, right, of a million dollars, you know, and I granted Frank Martin wasn't in negotiations, it was Errol Spence and I believe Deton said it was Derek James. So he's saying that, you know, Frank had an issue with the, you know, because he said basically after I pay the promoter, this, that, and the third, I'm left pretty much with nothing. You know, so and you know Frank may be looking at it, you know, like man, it's messed up, you know. And uh also Errol may be like, well, you finna leave, so, you know, you know, this is what you gonna get. So, here's my response to, to that, right? If that all is true, I believe that Errol Spence has to rethink how he's operating as a promoter. Right, you gotta work alongside your fighter, right? That's what I believe 100%. You have to work alongside your fighter in order to get things done. I do think Frank Martin needs to be compensated very well. Um, other than Errol Spence, Frank Martin, I agree with Detail. He said this is the face of Man Down Promotions, right? And I believe that he has to be compensated well. You know what I mean? That's what it is. I, I think that, you know, they could have went back to the drawing board and been like, look, man, let's do like three million, you know? I think Frank would have been cool with three because then Errol get his cut, you know, whatever, and then Frank Martin probably, after he pay everybody, probably come out of there with a million or 1.5, you know what I mean? So that's what I believe. I, 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 I believe that wholeheartedly. I think that that's what should have happened. They should have worked alongside Frank Martin, included him in negotiations. He had to be in the room, but, you know, kind of let him know what's transpiring, right? Um, as far as 
working with the trainer. You know, uh, I but I, I think I I expressed how I disagree with Derek James, and I'm gonna drop another video about that. In the past, I said I don't agree with Derek James bringing in Anthony Joshua, Derek James bringing in Ryan Garcia as his, as as to be the head trainer for them. I feel like that was too much. Right, I feel like that was too much, and I feel like there's no relationship there. You know, me, I'm big on like if you solid, right? If you ain't solid, I can't fool with you. You know, so as a coach, coaching people, you got to be a solid. You got to be a solid person. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Derek James looking at the money aspect. He like, man, I get to train Anthony Joshua. You know, Ryan Garcia, like. Those are big names in the sport of boxing. And I get it. I understand. But at the same time, it's like, you can't sit here and try to coach a Ryan Garcia. You know? He don't fit with what y'all do. You know what I mean? And I said that from the jump. I said, man, they Ryan Garcia need to get out of there. I get it. Like, if they want to come by the gym and train, you know, hit the hand pass with you every now and then, that's cool. You get them kind of corners hey have at it but to sit there and be like oh yeah man i'm gonna be your head trainer i feel like that was too much you know what i mean and i honestly i feel like that's what happened and you know the fights that transpired back to back to back like that you know what i mean that's what i believe um uh, but if i'm dead james i'm l spence when frank martin said hey he want more time then as a promoter you have to make these things happen you got to sit there and be like all right look this what you want all right cool hey Derek, bro you're gonna have to cut ties you know with anthony joshua and what's her name like we got a good thing going over here you know let's keep it that way let's keep it you know how it was you know it was just us and that's what I believe. That's why I 100% believe the success for these guys. My bad, y'all, I'm parking. Uh, they were so successful was because, you know, the game plan of Derrick James. And he had more time to really coach them and focus on a lot of their flaws and stuff like that. So I think that to answer the question directly, Errol and Derrick James, they gotta, they gotta keep Frank. You know what I'm saying? He's your, he's your go-to fighter for your promotional company. So what you gotta do is sit there and be like, you know what? Hey man, I'm a, uh, you, uh, I, if I'm Errol, sit down with Derek. Hey bro, you got to, you got to cut ties and run. It's no disrespect, but or spread that mug out. If you don't want to cut ties, spread that mug out. When it's Frank time to fight, hey, you know what I'm saying? When it's Ryan time to fight, hey, he got to get more control of his gym. It's like, Derek, like, let the guys choose when they want to fight and all this other stuff. Like, he got to get more control of this gym. He got to tell his guys, like, look, I know you want to fight on this day, but I got him fighting on this day, so we need to work. You know what I'm saying? So to answer the question directly, L. Spence should have gotten Frank Martin more money, if this is true. And I feel like Derek James should make more time for Frank Martin. That's what it is. But like I said before, this is my response. I don't take no credit. D-Town Boxing did all the legwork. You know, I just giving my viewpoint on the matter so shout out to d town hopefully this is just a rumor you know because when people take losses that's when you know all this negative stuff start coming out you know what i mean oh he wasn't doing this he wasn't doing that this person don't like this person this one all this stuff come out when you lose so like i said before y'all let me know what y'all think man let's go